out there and welcome we are back once again so i'm gonna jump right into it talking about the ultimate fighters season 23 with team johanna versus team claudia and let me tell you the first couple of matchups are really cool you got Corey hendrix versus joss stansbury then we have uh the other matchup is with andrew sanchez versus eric spicely uh, another one of those uh, friendship um, <laughs> matchups. So it was very interesting to see how it all panned out. But um, yeah, so let me just jump right into it. Now, you had uh, Corey Hendricks. He's been um, experiencing some nerve injury. And uh, so he's kind of like in this particular episode, episode 10, uh, he's just like, wow, you know. Uh, can I continue on? I want to continue on, but he's left with a tough decision to uh, make whether he's going to go ahead and compete in the finale or not. And uh, so Claudia, she offers some, you know, guidance, some, you know, uh, advice as to, you know, his situation that he's in, and he's not really wanting to, you know, hear it, you know, because he's come so far, and you can kind of understand that. I mean, these fighters. They go all out. They do the best that they possibly can, and and uh, it's just it's one of those situations where the coach has to kind of you know decide uh, whether to uh, push them forward or to kind of let them uh, you know lean back a little bit. And and in this particular case, and in, in Corey's case, Claudia saw that you know a nerve injury. You don't want to push through anything like that because that can actually uh, turn into something more serious, um, that will put up, like, a red flag that could even, you know, you get into the octagon and you compete and you risk injuring yourself in a, in a serious matter where you can't compete anymore, where you just mess up your whole entire career and it's just a wrap, it's over, you can't continue on, you're, you know, it's pretty much over, so you don't want to put yourself in that predicament to where you can't fight anymore. And so that was one of the dilemmas that um, he was facing, whether he, sh you know, because he comes so far. And we all heard, you know, coaches, they have that responsibility to uplift and, and push the, uh, you know, the the athlete to, to the max, push them to the limit, right? And sometimes, you know, they'll sit there and say, hey, look, you know, push through the pain, you know, they encourage them to go, you know, you got to go all out, either you want it or you don't, and then, on the other hand, they have to, you know, know when to pull back and not push their fighters that far, and know when to say, hey, look, it's time for you to wrap it up for a bit, get yourself healthy, heal yourself, and come back and live another day, you know, don't just uh, put yourself in, on the um, on the chopping block and hurt yourself even more to the point where you won't ever ever be able to compete again and so there's that fine line there you know and uh, I have to applaud Claudia you know stepping up and and you know seeing that in this particular case she had to make sure that the fighter you know put themselves first and um, you know really look at you know this situation as a you know, a lifelong goal, you know, where you don't want to ruin your career. You just don't. And so, you know, I applaud her. She did a really great job. I mean, like I said, these coaches, they have to deal with so much. And um, that was a really defining moment to, that they, you know, shared that, hey, you know, you have to know when to pull back and, and know when to just say, you know what, well, I'll just get myself healthy, I'll work on what I need to work on, and it's not the end of the world, you know, we can, we can, you know, definitely get over this. And so, that was really cool, but then, so Corey goes ahead, and he makes the, the decision to pull out of the competition, which was a very good decision on his part, and uh, so he goes and he tells his teammates, he tells Khalil, he tells Josh, hey look, I'm out of the uh, the competition, so they got to pick um, someone to take my place. And it could be, you know, any of uh, any of these guys that we had defeated in the very beginning. So then Dana White calls a meeting with the two coaches, 
and uh, gives his decision as to who's going to be uh, taking over Tori's spot, and it happens to be Khalil. And so now Johanna has to go back and let Khalil know that uh, he won't. He's going to be the one that's going to step in to Corey's spot to go up against Josh, who's again, like I said, a friend of his. And uh, so now he's got the, uh, the the same dilemma that he had when he fought against Corey. He has with uh, Josh that he's going up against a friend, and he's not really feeling that whole situation. Although he's happy to be able to get back into the competition again. However, it's at the expense of uh, going up against someone he's been training against. And so, you know, Johanna, she's trying to console him and let him know that, hey, you know, this is what it's all about. You know, you, you, at the end of the day, you have to fight for yourself. That's why you're here uh, so that you can, um, you know, live out your dream. So you can, you know, be a, a contender uh, in the UFC. And so you have to go up against your comrades here just to secure your spot and uh, advance forward in, in, in your goals in your life. So this is, you know, it, it definitely is tough. And so, I mean, this episode really, really, um, <laughs> it was tough. Let me tell you, I mean, it just had a lot of uh, situations in there that were really great to see at the same time all the different types of the situations that they all, the fighters, the coaches, they have to go to. And like I said, in this particular one, it'd be interesting to see how Khalil um, overcomes this. You know, I don't think that he'll let the psyche play again in his head this time around. I think he's going to, you know, take it even more seriously. I mean, look, Corey did, you know, I mean, and they still were buds afterwards. So, I mean, you just have to, you know, get yourself um, your, your, your game face on and you really have to push forward. Because it is your career, it is your life, it's, it's what you, it's how you make a living. So this is what you do, and so you're going to have to push forward and put all the friendships and things aside and, and get to your business. And so that's what he's doing, and um, well, hopefully we'll see that um, in his next fight, which will be coming up um, uh, the next episode. So like I said, this season has been really, really enlightening. It's just been really great and awesome to watch. And uh, so, yeah, very, very uh, on the edge of your seat types of scenes here. Yeah, it's it was really, really good. So in the meantime, um, Andrew is getting ready for his matchup against Eric, another comrade, another friend, someone who he sparred with. He knows very well and knows his fighting style and everything like that. And so... <laughs> Here you go again. Uh, it was interesting to see, the, again, the psyche playing uh, a huge factor in their uh, their actual fight, you know, the, the performance. And uh, so these two guys uh, went up against each other. And let me tell you, um, <laughs> apparently uh, Eric, he just broke down. <laughs> under the pressure, I guess, all of the different intensity. He knows his his uh, his friend. He knows his fighting style. He knows he's a well-rounded fighter, you know. Andrew is just a phenomenal fighter. He's really, really great. And so I think that also um, kind of played a, a factor in his performance, not being able to really do much. I mean, like I said, he broke down and he was in tears. Before the to act the, the before they entered into the ring, uh, into the octagon, and so it was it was very interesting to see. I mean, how this played out between these two guys, and uh, yeah, one literally broke down in tears, which was I was I was like, wow, you know, um, yeah, Eric broke down in tears, and um, it was tough for him. It was really 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 tough for him, and. And I, and I also think that he knew deep down that uh, Andrew was the better fighter. I mean, he just knew that his skill set was not a match for um, someone like Andrew. And Andrew knew, too. I mean, he kept on saying that, hey, uh, you know, um, this is a great matchup for me, you know. <laughs> I, you know, and he was kind of... He was a little bit on edge because he wasn't sure if he was going to still be able to uh, 
fight his friend uh, Eric because of the whole situation with Cor Corey earlier. And uh, but it panned out that he was still able to, uh, you know, fight Eric, even though, um, yeah, they're friends. So he <laughs> but it was it was tough for him, too, you know, but it is a competition. They're in this the sport to be at the top. And so this is one of those situations where you have to say it's either you or me and uh Andrew chose himself and he he came out on top so i mean you know you you have to see who the strong against the weak who's the weaker of the of the uh of the bunch and uh Andrew showed that he was he was very strong so there you go um <laughs> that's all i can say about that one that one was really really interesting and and cool to see that uh you know yeah that psyche thing you got to get your mind right you have to get your mind right people you have to that plays a huge huge part in your performance on whatever it is you do whatever it is you do you have to have your mind together and uh so that i mean this was a huge episode example of that I mean, wow, you know, so, yeah, get it together, get it together, people. <laughs> Another exciting moment at this, in this particular episode of uh, Tough 23 is the challenges that uh, they ended up having uh, with the coaches. I mean, wow, I think this one was really, really cool, and uh, I kind of can relate to the ice blocks <laughs> of water, like they had to go up in on top of these uh, these uh, two big boxes filled with water and ice, right? Ice cubes, icicles, and I actually some some time ago uh, was in like a tough mutter event, and one of the uh, challenges was you had to uh, you have to dive into or jump into this body of water that was filled with these big chunks of ice. And I know as soon as I got into this water, oh my goodness, it was just like your muscles, everything just stiffened up. So I can imagine, and you're freezing to death, and uh, yeah, so I can imagine what those ladies what they were all going through, all the, you know, even um, there was a, yeah, a point where I believe even Dana White, he actually got in there. <laughs> he ended up getting dunked. But, yeah, so they had these two big blocks, and, uh, man, they were, like, what, 12 feet high? I mean, wow, you know. And uh, it was just like, oh, my goodness. So they're all the way up there. And uh, let me tell you, <laughs> getting dumped in that type of uh condition there is not fun I'm pretty I, I know for a fact because I've experienced ice and water before and uh so yeah Claudia got a chance to show her uh wicked skills sniper skills I mean she kept dunking oh my goodness Johanna so many times and Johanna was so upset you can see she was really really bad about that you know it wasn't fun she was she was really she was not digging that at all and uh but yeah um so Claudia ended up winning that challenge won her team some money she won some money and then she won more money for herself and the team because she ended up dunking Dana <laughs> Dana White and you could see he was so scared to be up there oh my goodness it was incredible to see that I mean you could see it in his face he was freaking out um but yeah what an experience I, I, that they I mean that just was awesome I love to see stuff like that this this show was just uh like I said a really really great season a really great episode if you haven't got a chance to watch uh, any of the episodes for this particular season, you definitely should go ahead and check it out. I believe it is. It is on uh, Fox Sports 1. And uh, let me tell you, don't miss it, the next one because the next one I'm pretty sure is just going to get even more uh, interesting. Um, the two ladies, oh my gosh, they had a few words at this one. Oh my goodness. 
you could see Johanna being, I mean, she looked like she was just about to just shoot right through the roof. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, but, you know, we still have a few more, uh, few more days before um, these two women actually uh, compete against each other in the octagon for a second time. And uh, it's going to be, I know the, the first one, if you thought the first one was really, really gr crazy, this second one's going to be, again, it's going to be, oh my goodness, just like really, really, really over the top. Because I know these two women are going to bring it. It's going to be an awesome showing. Definitely, you don't want to miss that one here. And that's coming up in July. So, yeah, but the the tough season 23, check it out. A really great season. There's so much. I mean, you learn so much about these fighters and uh, all the different things that they have to go through. It's really, really great to see. And uh, I'm pumped to see even more exciting episodes and even more events that uh, they take part in with this with this group. I mean, these fighters were just phenomenal. And so with that said, everybody, if you like what you heard, punch the thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel. And once again, everybody, one love, respect, and take care.